for watching and today we will do the unbelievable we will find the sum of 1 over m squared so our goal is to find the following sum the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over m squared which is really 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared etc etc and this is incredible because your calculus instructor may have told you that this sum is finite, but never told you what it is. But in this video, we will figure out what it actually is. And we will do this by applying the famous Parsible's identity, which I'll state next. So what does Parsible's formula say in this case? Formula, namely, if a function in this case has a sine series, sum from 1 to infinity of am sine of mx on 0, comma pi, then there's a very nice identity relating the sums of squares of the coefficients, then the sum from 1 to infinity of am squared is simply 2 over pi times the integral from 0 to pi of the integral square of f, integral of f squared in this case. And this we have proved in a previous video. You can check out the description for the link. But now what we want to do, we want to apply this to the case f of x equals x. So apply to f of x equals x. Now, if you use the Fourier sine formula, we have a m is 2 over pi, integral from 0 to pi. So f hooked with sine of mx, which in this case is x sine of mx dx. And in a previous video, we already defined or derived this formula, and we found that am is just 2 over m and then minus 1 to the m plus 1. And so using this, let's just evaluate the left-hand side and the right-hand side and see what we get. So in this case, the sum from 1 to infinity of am squared well, that is the sum from 1 to infinity of absolute value of 2 over m minus 1 to the m plus 1 squared. However, what is minus 1 to the m plus 1? That's either 1 or minus 1. So in particular, if you square that, the square of this is 1. And so what we're left with is the sum from 1 to infinity of, I believe, 4 over m squared. And the cool thing is this 4 comes out and we're left with 4 times the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over m squared. Which is precisely what we want, by the way. So that's part of the sum. And then all we need to do now is evaluate the right-hand side. So now, 2 over pi, integral from 0 to pi, f of x squared dx, that is 2 over pi, integral from 0 to pi, absolute value of x squared dx. But here, since we're taking squares and on a positive interval, this is just x squared, so that's 2 over pi integral from 0 to pi, x squared dx, and then evaluating that integral, this gives you 2 over pi, and then pi cubed over 3. Antiderivative is x cubed over 3, which now simplifies simply to 2 pi squared over 3. So 2 thirds pi squared. And now combining everything, so remember 1 equals 2, we then end up getting, I believe, 4 times 
the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over m squared equals 2 thirds pi squared. And then what is the sum we're looking for? So the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over m squared is 1 fourth times 2 thirds pi squared. So this 2 and this 4 cancel out, but with an extra factor of 2. And so in the end, we end up getting pi squared over 6. Oh my God, who would have thought? So once again, the formula that was so taboo in calculus, we actually found because we're so cool like that. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.